Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sensa Tempo Cunny Corso. I'm over here watching Cashmere play and dominate. Velocity over there playing like she's a puppy. <laughs> Somebody get that trash, please. Will you move it for me? What are you doing, Velocity? Crazy lady. No, you're not going outside. No, we're not going outside. I'm just turning on the light. No, it's fine. I'll just do the button. button. We're not going outside. Go play. Come here, please. Go play. No, come here. Come here. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty velocity. She's really, <clears throat> I always say this, I always talk about how she's maturing, but she really is maturing very well. So, I've had, have to be honest with you guys, uh, I've just had the worst, like, couple weeks. So I'm just going to get it all out. <clears throat> so my cat ran away. She got out. I don't know exactly at what time. Probably we were just probably had the doors open and somebody just didn't realize it or whatever, but But um but needless to say she's gone. It's been a while now. It's been over a week. Normally, when a cat gets out, I like to give him at least two weeks. So, but she's a real thin cat. She's a small cat. So, I don't know. Um. So other than that, um, the new dog Napoleon that I got, he has a pretty severe structural fault in his front. I just didn't see it. The breeder didn't see it. Um, sometimes puppies can just mature into that kind of stuff. Like when they're young, they their legs are so short um, and compact, and so you won't see things like that until they start to actually stretch out. And what it means is that, like if this is his paw, like it goes out like that. Like his wrists come in, right? Um, yeah, like kind of like that. Yeah, and it puts a lot of pressure on the pasterns of the dog and it's can lead to elbow dysplasia because it turns to when you do that it turns to the elbow like turning out so um anyway when I let the breeder know he um was totally you know willing to replace him and um he just didn't see it I didn't see it either I mean I saw the dog so it happens things like that happen but you can't breed it you don't you do not want to breed structural faults in so um you know, that's how you hear it when somebody has got a sad story about their dog that has elbow dysplasia. Well, it's people that that bred that dog instead of um, finding it a pet home. And so this particular breeder wants the puppy back. So, um, and that's, that's, you know, that's normal. So I told him that I'm going to be going back up there to get Preacher at the end of January. And that I would be willing to drop him off then. So, so that's that. So, it's unfortunate, but like I said, it happens. It, it's there's been a couple dogs that I've had to, to rehome for, um, health reasons like that, whether it be temperament or structural faults or health, like they um, have like severe, um, issues or something. <clears throat> so. 
you know, it's one of those things that happens when you buy puppies, but I'd rather buy puppies and grow them up in my pack um, so I can have them like this versus get them as adults when they, velocity, quiet down, when they're, um, when they're already adults. And usually, like most breeders aren't going to let go of a really good um, adult. Like if you want really good dogs, you, you have to buy puppies. So, Shh, Velocity, stop. Yeah, she's just playing. Velocity, go away. Yeah, she never plays. It's like so funny. Velocity, stop. Like Velocity doesn't even know how to handle it. She's like so weirded out by it. So, and then I also had to um, take one of my puppies to the vet today because... Um, my daughter just really didn't do, really didn't do the job that she needed to do as far as watching the puppies. And, um, and so whenever I got back, I could tell that they hadn't really been cared for up to my standard. So I put food and water in and unfortunately they, they drank a ton of water. I guess she really hadn't been putting, because we do a puppy mash, you ha it's very important that you put a the right amount of water or the puppies um, will need water. And since we do the puppy mash, we usually wouldn't put extra water in there just because it would they'd create a mess and all that. So when I came in and I did that, <clears throat> they just drank so much water. I mean, they just got these huge pot bellies. And then the same thing in the morning, I gave them a bunch of water and... Um, and so anyway, so we had a puppy that basically was suffering from ah, ah, midnight, no, from um, water toxicity, from drinking too much water. And he had um, low, low sodium levels, which you think is like, you know, low, he needs more salt. No, it's not. It's, it is because of um, there being too much water and it's diluted the natural levels. And so it causes negative um, health effects. So the puppy is staying overnight um, at the at the at the hospital, the vet hospital, and hopefully he's going to pull through. We don't know yet, but hopefully he does. So I've just been put through the ringer, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, I have just been put through the ringer. There's been some great stuff, as you know, preacher that did very well, and that's awesome. I've had some really wonderful things happening in my life, but I've also had some really tough, tough stuff to get through. So, it is what it is. I'll get over it. But for now, I'm exhausted emotionally and physically. And um, I really just would need, I just need a break. <laughs> I just need... I just need some rest, but I'm not going to get any because I've got to wake up and do it again tomorrow. And that's the way it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. I know. So anyway, so, <clears throat> pardon me. So I just wanted to let you guys in. I haven't, I haven't been posting as much because I've just been so overwhelmed. We still hadn't unpacked this house and... Now I've been doing that. We've been, Savannah and I were doing that all day today too. So just trying to get it out of the way, you know. Um, we put up some pictures. We've got that picture up there. I don't know how I feel about that. And we got our tree up. Yeah, you got to turn it. So I'm one of those like cheap, cheap ghetto moms where. No, you're not. Yeah, where I only decorate the side of the tree that you see. <laughs> And the, oh, yeah, and the dog was back there and he, she turned it around. So you got to turn it back around the right way. Oh. She twisted it. There we go. So there's our tree, our angel. And then... Uh, I don't know. And then here's the sign. Take a look at our new sign. Dog rules. Some of them don't really matter. Like, they're not actually, like, true. But, yeah, whatever. It's just we found it. But like, I liked the it. Like what falls on the floor is mine. Excuse me. Yeah. But anyway, I just figured I would let you guys in on what's going on. So um talk to you later.